Welcome to the channel. In today's video, we are going to be changing the rear drive oil in this 2014 BMW R1200 GS. The first thing we're going to be doing is with the T30 Torx, we're going to be removing these three bolts holding the rear mud flap on. Next, with a T45 Torx bit, we'll be draining our rear drive gear oil. And that oil looks disgusting. Safe to say, it was time for a rear drive oil change. And while you're doing the rear drive oil change, now is a really good time to check the health of your rear drive bearings. So in order to do this, what you're gonna do is grab the wheel on opposite ends, and you're gonna apply a fore and aft um, rocking motion to see if there's any play in the wheel. And there should be zero play. So right here I can tell there's nothing. So these, even though the oil is really dirty, the bearings in the rear drive are still very healthy. Once that is finished draining, you're gonna to wanna to go ahead and reinstall your drain plug. So when you reinstall your drain plug, you're gonna to wanna to pay really close attention to this O-ring that um, seals up the drain plug. They have a really good tendency to crack. And you can see on this drain plug, the O-ring has split right there. So this O-ring will need to be replaced. So you can see the O-ring has began to split in half like that. Also, something else worth mentioning is the tip of these are magnetic. So you're gonna to wanna to use like a flathead screwdriver and clear out all the debris on the magnet. And you can see there's quite a bit of just kind of fine metal particles. That's nothing to worry about and that's totally normal. We will now reinstall our drain plug with that new O-ring and our magnetic magnet all cleaned out. We will now fill the rear drive. So to fill the rear drive, you're gonna need a six millimeter Allen and loosen up this plug right here. On some models, the plug is on the inside of the wheel here, so you'll have to remove your wheel. But on this one, it's just right here on the outside. So now for filling the rear drive oil, BMW makes these little containers with the appropriate, exactly the amount of oil you'll need. And it's just a really nice handy little container. So if you're not using BMW OEM oil, it's 207 milliliters. And you just put it right through the fill hole and just squeeze it right in until it's empty. Now that our rear drive is all full of oil, we can go ahead and reinstall our oil fill plug with a new crush washer, of course. And then we can go ahead and reinstall our mud flap. Thank you so much for watching my tutorial. If this video helped you out in any way, please consider subscribing to my Patreon or checking the other links in the description. As always, have a safe ride.